chopping some rocks. Yo prospectors, Dig Daddy out here in the garage and today we are bringing you a special episode of Backyard Prospecting. Today we are going to be grinding some rocks. Uh, I got myself a little lapidary setup that I built and we're going to check that out. So don't go anywhere, we'll be right back and we're going to grind some. Alright, now before we get started, really important to go over a couple things. Protection. The grinder is loud, once I put the rocks on there it's just going to be louder. So ear protection is required. Also, you're gonna to wanna to wear a face mask whenever you're rock cutting rocks. Fumes, fibers of who knows what could be in there. Um, and even the rocks themselves sometimes can be uh, uh, cancerous or cause just a, a various number of issues. So you always wanna have a respirator on hand and wearing it um, for any kind of stone work. Yeah, just to be safe. Now, kind of want to go over the setup with you again, since we got some light and it's all going here. Uh, we'll put the mask over here for now. Over here we got a Harbor Freight angle grinder. Let me get another light on here. We got that Harbor Freight angle grinder set up. Got it locked down with this bracket. Some scrap wood that I had. A little tub thing that I got over at Home Depot. It's for rolling paint. Couple pieces of plexiglass to keep the water where it's supposed to be inside the, the tub. A small little $8 dollar water pump that I picked up on Amazon. Also from Amazon is the grinder itself, the stone. Uh, now that's just a standard thing that goes hooked up to an angle grinder uh, for polishing marble and stuff. Uh, that one there I believe is 120 grit. And then I got some foam filter pad to keep the pump clean as the rock sediment flows down. Now just to get a little bit of distance on there I put a extension, an arbor extension. Otherwise it was rubbing right up against the bucket that I got chopped down here. Uh, on the back of the bucket I got a little gasket to keep the motor dry. Um, but uh, yeah that's pretty much the setup. It's really simple. It is loud as hell so like I say make sure you're wearing air muffs. So we got a couple stones ready to go here that I want to clean up a little bit. Now I'm going to go grab some gloves and we'll get it started. So that was the machine in action. I'm hoping that uh, I was recording that. I'm going to have to go back and check. God damn it. All right, so we lost a little footage and I lost the rock somewhere in the mean went in the way. So what we're gonna do is I got an emerald. We're gonna polish this down, chop it down, try to get down to the green, get that green out of the, the black. We'll use the grinder to do it. So let's get our earphones, our earplugs, ear... and let's do this.
So that was fun. Got that emerald all chopped down. I don't think I'm really going to do anything with it. I just wanted to kind of polish it down and show you guys how well this works for doing that. That big old chunk that I had is now this little emerald teardrop, I guess. I'll probably do something with that. Kind of looks cool. Uh, yeah, so it's pretty slick. Works pretty well. The two cabs that I was working on are now shaped up and they fit they fit the frame of this pendant so now I can polish them up and then I know that they're gonna set in there just fine got this one taken down so it's not such an ungodly thickness but yeah little machine works well if not messy so tune in for the next episode when we polish these babies up see you next time